Good morning. I wish I could leave the sunglasses on because if I look tired, it's because I am extremely tired. Welcome to this week's vlog and we're starting off with me looking like this because last night I stayed up late on purpose and I got up early to take my son to his workout. So the reason why I stayed up is because I work tonight and it helps me out if I wake up this tired so that I can take a really good nap. It's gonna be really hard for me to get in the house and not crawl into bed. I'm just so exhausted. Yeah, welcome to this week's vlog. I'm going to do a couple of days of a productive mom. I will be working today. Tomorrow, we are celebrating my daughter's seventh birthday and then we're going to kind of end the vlog with me studying so if you're new here i've actually been documenting each week for my first semester the reason why this isn't the seventh week is because i lost all of my footage 77 clips there was just a malfunction downloading my clips from the sd card into my hd drive and somewhere in between there it became unrecognizable. I decided to go ahead and stop filming just because y'all, I'm basically done with all of my assignments. At this point, it's just me studying for my final test. First, we have to do a practice B assessment, which we're taking next week, and then our final for pharmacology, but we're not taking the proctored final. I think it's pretty amazing of my school that they are letting us take our our pharmacology proctored exam at the end of our third semester because y'all 11 weeks of pharmacology we're not going to learn that much so this is going to allow us to learn as much as we can by the time we finish our third semester and we can take our proctored exam i'm really thankful for that i think that's pretty amazing that they did that but she is going to give us her own final and we'll be taking that so practice B assessment and our final for pharmacology and then our final for our online class which is community health nursing but we call it essence of professional nursing. Like I said, I'm done with all of my assignments. Like I went ahead and I finished everything and I'm so glad I did because this week my husband was gone. And um, yeah, that would have been difficult of me trying to catch up on everything and taking care of the kids but my self i mean thank god i have my mother-in-law she helps tremendously but um i'm trying to get everything else done that my husband usually does and that doesn't leave me much room for studying i'm so glad i was caught up because now i can just focus on on studying a little bit each day so yeah if you're interested in how i get work done get studying done and raise four kids then stick around i'd love to have you here um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go inside and start picking up put on a vlog or something just to get me in the mood I love to watch cleaning vlogs. So that's probably what I'll put on and then I have to go pick up my son The girl's looking rough. It's okay. So Thank you for being here and I'm sorry about the vlogs. Oh, that's another thing I was going to mention is so I probably will be doing just little snippets like this up until the last week of school we are in we're going into week nine so after this i think we only meet two more times for class that's insane y'all that is insane i'll document the final week of my summer semester and then i'll have a week and a half off and then we start the fall semester oh my gosh this is just this has went by so fast okay all right Let's get inside. Okay, so this is on the agenda today. I accidentally put it on Friday. It was supposed to be for Thursday and I <laughs> crossed out my daughter's birthday. I call her Cookie. So we're going to clean the kitchen, living room, and my bedroom. We're going to make Cookie's cake. Her name is Olivia, but I call her Cookie. I'm going to be making her a strawberry cake that I make that she really, really loves. So I'll have that um, done before, or I'll I'll go ahead and start that before I go to work so I, it can be ready for tomorrow. Uh, buy materials for the Jack and Luna setup. Okay. Oof, man, I look rough. It's okay. Um, so yesterday, <laughs> making sure she can't hear me. Yesterday, she 
begged for me to help her film a video to send to Santa asking, actually begging, if Jack and Luna, the elf on the shelves, could come and visit her for her birthday. So she is obsessed with elf on the shelf and we have the boy and the girl. So I think um, I really want to do that for her. I need to buy those materials, but I'll work on it tomorrow. So I'm really excited for that because she's she's obsessed with um, with elf on with Jack and Luna, the elf on the shelf. Okay, and then we're going to prepare my bag, which is basically my backpack, and make sure I have all my materials, like my study materials, because I am able to study at work. Hopefully, it'll be a good night where I'll be able to do that and then pack my lunch for work and go to sleep and go to work. All right, so that's today's agenda. I'm going to get out of this room because I so badly want to get into this bed. I'm gonna put on a vlog, put on my earphones and start cleaning up this place because it needs, it needs a good cleaning.
nice and clean and by what I mean clean is my bed is made um, it it just doesn't look as tidy because we're so why does it keep doing that because we just have so much stuff and nowhere to put it so that TV I don't know what we're gonna do with it I mean there's no space for it in this room and really I do not watch any TV and I just have stacks of books and my markers everywhere so we're doing the best that we can with the space that we have um, so yeah now these are the bags that I'm taking to work the only one that's missing is my lunch bag y'all I'm only there for a night and I do this is just my comfort okay I take it just in case and a lot of this is my study materials and if I can't study or if I want to take a break then I have my books in here I have my planners just so that I can plan ahead um, I also have my emergency kit and then I have my uh, fanny pack my nurse fanny pack in there that I wear so it's my comfort <laughs> very heavy but I will take it and then the only thing that's missing is my lunchbox so I'll make that after we come back right now I'm gonna head with the kids to go run some errands and then I'll drop them off at my mother-in-law's come back home and get settled for bed So I'm going to leave some stuff out to prepare for my daughter's cake. Some of it requires for it to be at room temperature. Although I think I won't take them out until I leave for work. Because um, that'll be plenty of time. I'll be gone for 12 hours. It'll be at room temp. Um, I'm going to prepare. I suddenly decided to make myself the viral grinder sandwich from TikTok. It is amazing. I'm going to leave this slaw marinating because the slaw that is what makes this grinder sandwich so good is that slaw mix hopefully i i didn't pick up pepperoni or salami because i assumed that i already had some at home and i really really hope and pray i do because then we'll have to figure something out for dinner but i'm pretty sure i bought some let me check real quick okay whoo thank god i do and then i have pepper jack cheese it's somewhere in there because i would make my breakfast sandwiches with it so um, yeah, let me get that done. And so part of it will be ready by the time I go to work. The assembling of the sandwich, I won't do it until I get ready for work. I'm going to take a shower before I head to work. And while I'm in the shower, I'm going to have the sandwich um, toasting up in the oven. Along with the cheese and the pepperoni and the salami. It's just, you guys, it is so good. I will leave the link down below of the recipe that I followed. The only thing that I do different is I add a little bit of juice of the pepperoncini juice to the coleslaw and it just, all that flavor just brings it to a whole other level. So let me get that ready and let me go feed my cat. If you have yet to try that viral grinder sandwich on TikTok, this is your sign to make it at home because it is so good. I'm going to show you how I make it and how I love to um, mix my ingredients. So first we start off with your base, which is of course mayonnaise. Now add as much or as little as you want. 
After that, we're going to add a little bit of sherry. Now, I've never used sherry, so how I'm able to gauge how much I want to add, I smell it. That smells like alcohol. So I'm just going to add a drop that much. It's, it's pretty strong. And then it calls for red wine vinegar. Also smell it. Kind of gauge it just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, it was just a couple of drops. Okay, something different that I do that's not on the video, by the way. I'll link the video in case you need um, uh, measurements. But it does call for pepperoncini. But I actually use the juice inside of this marinade. So this is going to be like a slaw that's going to be included in the sandwich. So I, that one, I put a little bit more than the red wine vinegar. Oh, I just, I love that smell. And the sherry, it's just, it's, it is my favorite smell. I've never had pepperoncinis until I made this, um, this sandwich. We're gonna go in with some oregano or oregano like the British like to say and then some red pepper flakes just depending on how much spice you like I like a lot <laughs> um, and then just salt and pepper so put in my salt and pepper oh by the way something I didn't tell y'all is I went ahead and added some Italian seasoning so now we just mix all that up and what's gonna go in here is my shredded lettuce, red onion, and some garlic. So it's all gonna go in here. At this point, you kinda wanna taste it and see what you should add. What's gonna go in here is my shredded lettuce, red onion, and some It's so garlic. good. I don't like to make too much of the dressing for the slaw because, I don't know, I'm just, a little goes a long way it's just it's such a strong flavor especially with the pepperoncini juice I still add the peppers to the sandwich but adding the pepperoncini ju to the juice adding the juice to the dressing is a game changer I'm just gonna add a little bit more mayo because it ended up coming out just a little bit too liquidy for me but y'all I tasted it it is so good. I don't think I'm gonna add all of the lettuce. So we're gonna add in our lettuce, our red onion, and our garlic. And I'm gonna let this marinate. I work tonight, and when I work, I like to make myself something good. I love to go to work, and if it's a hard shift, at least I'll have something to look forward to. <laughs> So what's gonna go on the sandwich, and I'll buy whatever bread is available. We live in a small town, so sometimes we don't have access to the actual sub sandwiches, but this looked really good. It's a sourdough bread. It is pretty wide, so I'm gonna cut it in half and just take half of it. What, who am I kidding? I'm gonna take both of them to work, but um, I'll definitely cut it in half and eat it like that. And then what goes in the sandwich is salami, um, pepperoni and then my pepper jack cheese um, and then the slaw goes on top but before I go to work I'm going to take a shower and while I'm in the shower I'm gonna have this with the bread I'm gonna construct it put it in the oven and just let it all melt together and then I'll add my slaw oh and plus slices of tomato and don't forget to season your tomato as well so all that's gonna look so good but I need to go to sleep because I have to work today. It's currently 5 p.m. I did not sleep at all. Um, I was crying. <laughs> um... Last night I was uh, studying some flashcards and um, I was on Quizlet and one of the answers was uh, if you can't remember the medication but it was saying if a medication took this if a if a patient took this medication what's what signs do you need to look out for and the answer was tenderness in the legs 
and it's just been in my head a lot and as I laid down in the quiet um, what's been so I haven't talked about it but what's been really hard one of, one of the hardest things about going to nursing school is hearing about the signs and symptoms you need to watch out for when it when it comes to like a heart attack or a stroke or especially when it comes to like some kind of clot I can't help but think of my father-in-law and this is why I haven't talked about it because so many emotions come up of anger and sadness anger because I wish I had known because I could have probably prevented it from happening and somehow dragged his butt because he hated going to the hospital but dragged him to the ER and made him make him get checked out before my father-in-law died he had pneumonia and he didn't tell me but my mother-in-law had told me that he had pain on, in his calves and one thing I've learned in nursing school is that that can be a symptom or a sign of uh, blood clots and my father-in-law passed away of, in the night because of a of a heart attack or a stroke I don't I don't remember it. it's just it's been so jumbled in my head um, I can't remember exactly what it was but it was it was caused by by a blood clot and anytime I hear those words it's really hard for me to focus because so many emotions pop up and it takes me back to seeing my father-in-law on the floor and so that flashcard has just been in my head and it's been a while since I've cried it's just it's been so hard on my husband and um, especially my youngest boy who reminds us so much of my father-in-law Oh, and I've just been crying and I can't sleep and now it's going to be a really difficult shift I know I'm going to be so exhausted but anyways I um my husband's not here so he'd be the one or maybe I'm able to do this because he's not here I just I feel so bad I think I don't allow myself to go there because there is no solution and I hate that I hate it with a passion that there's nothing I can fix he's gone and I can't fix it I'm just left with so much grief and sadness and anger I just I miss him so I miss him so much. <laughs> hey guys, I'm sorry how I left off the last time we talked. I am okay. It was just, it was an emotional time for me, but we're a lot better. Um, work was kind of difficult, and difficult I mean by me staying up. I really did not get any sleep, and so it was... It, I was struggling, y'all. I think I did insert a couple of clips. Yeah. 
I was rushing. I was, um, because I was running a little late and so I did not have time to pick up the camera. Anyways, today is my daughter Olivia's birthday. I love you so much, my little cookie. She turned seven and I kind of wanted to make it special. She's at the age where it's still magical and so I'm trying to retain that as much as possible so i wanted to show you um of an idea that i asked for on instagram and one of my friends sent me this and i kind of made it my own but um it was it was perfect for the very little time that i had and all i had to buy was balloons and a poster so let me show you so she's gonna walk in to this big seven balloon on the door yeah but to her surprise, oh, Jack and Luna are here. And they came with the snow telling her happy birthday and how they're so excited. I wanted to make it really, really special for her. Um, and I hope she likes it. It's very, very simple. But um, yeah, I'm excited for her to see it. I am so exhausted. And I'm ready to take a nap. The bounce house is going to be here in like four hours and so um which is good that way i'm not sleeping all day and i don't lose all day and then i already took out ingredients that i need for olivia's cake because i am making it from scratch she loves the strawberry cake that i make so yeah anyways i'll see y'all hmm the next day and oh my gosh I went into a coma after we were done with the birthday party it was a lot of fun the kids had a lot of fun my daughter loved the surprise of Jack and Luna our elves I don't know why does it look like that anyways yeah after that I was just trying to stay awake it wasn't too bad um it wasn't until towards the end like around seven that I was just in my head um, but my mom and my grandmother whom we call affectionately Big Ma that's my mom and then Tela that's my grandmother and the kids great the kids great grandmother they were actually on their way back from an appointment so they were able to stop by it was so good to see them I miss them so much um, and some of Olivia's friends came over we hardly ever have friends coming over just because it's such a small place and it's it, it I don't entertain much there's not space for entertaining and I don't have the tools to entertain um, so it was nice to have them and our cousins so they had a good time and then my amazing um, you guys this is why I can do what I can do my amazing mother-in-law came after the party because she had left for a little bit it 
the kids were just playing in the jump house olivia was playing with her friends so she went back and um and then she called me and she said i'll go pick up the kids and i was just i love that woman so much um and i made my daughter my daughter didn't want to go um because she likes her space she likes to be alone but i told her mija i'm about to go to sleep and I want to make sure that you look, you're looked after because I wouldn't know what time she went to bed. So I made her go with my mother-in-law and it's 11. Actually, it's already 12. I woke up at 11.30. It's 12.02. I just called my husband. He's on his way back. He's two hours from us. So he was in Dallas and Dallas is around eight or nine hours depending on where in Dallas he was. So now he's just two and a half hours from us and I'm just... Oh, I'm so grateful. I'm ready to see him. I miss him so much. But I, I'm going to go get a workout in. I need to move my body. I just, I look and I feel so puffy. I better get a move on. Um, so, yeah, we will continue the vlog. Today is Saturday and I need to get some studying done. But let's, let's go to the gym. What, baby? How many more minutes? 60 minutes? Yes, 60 minutes, baby. Okay. Jesus, amen. Monday. I know I haven't talked to y'all. It's just been a nice weekend with my family by celebrating my daughter's birthday and then having my son being baptized. That was such a great, great, great moment because everyone was baptized except for him. We definitely didn't want to push him. Um, the day that all of my kids got baptized besides him, he was the only one who didn't stand up. Like we didn't tell our kids, y'all are going to be baptized. Fun fact, my husband and I got baptized together. Um, I had gotten baptized as a kid. I was born in the Catholic, I was raised in the Catholic church and I was baptized. But that baptism signified our unity. It signified the renewing, um, of our relationship moving forward especially me because I had gone through such a dark dark time to a point that even my husband thought that it was best for him to leave and he's never thought that way even though I was constantly saying that I was going to leave him it was just an ugly ugly time during the first eight years of our marriage and um, and then I had went through like the darkest years and at that point he was like i i think i'm i think i'm done he never said it out loud he just said that it was a thought that came to him and that kind of scared me because he's never ever ever said anything like that and i knew i had to change i mean he didn't tell me until afterwards but 
something in me just said I had to change. I don't want to go deep into that story because this is not what that's about. But anyways, all of <laughs> y'all, me and my rambles, like for some reason, I have to give you a bird's eye view of everything. Like that's just me. My oldest son wanted to be baptized. We knew that they were going to hold baptisms that Sunday and we were so supportive. And so we were ready for him to be baptized. And after he got baptized, something in me just wanted to get baptized, but with my husband as a way of me showing him that I was ready to come out new and move forward because prior to that, I had been in one of the, not one of the, like a couple of really, really dark years with my husband and um, just toxic years that me, that I was just in my head with, like just, it was it was a really bad time and he stuck with me through that and i really wanted to show him that i was i was ready to change and i was ready to move forward with him with this renewed mind but i wanted him with me and so him and i ended up getting baptized not thinking we were going to and then my kids wanted to be baptized and of course you know we're not going to tell them no but the only one who didn't come forward was my son christian and it's so funny because just a couple weeks ago my mother-in-law told me that he came up to him ran that he came up to her randomly and said well gam gam how come i wasn't baptized and and i'm the only one who hasn't been baptized and when they sent out that message that they were going to hold baptisms i thought oh my gosh this is perfect so i asked my son if he wanted to and he said yes so i was so excited to see that and it was just a really special moment so anyways yeah it was a nice weekend i did i did some studying um i don't think i showed enough of that but it's because the kids were home my husband came back and so i really didn't want to pull out the camera so today is monday and then tomorrow tuesday we have our exam I'm here at the gym. I really need to move my body. I'm not going heavy at all. I think I'm at a point where I'm just really exhausted. If you can't tell. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really exhausted and I've noticed I haven't been going heavy at the gym. Like I haven't even done anything PR, nothing crazy. I've been doing mainly dumbbells. And I've come out so sore the next day. And that is a sign of me of my body just being tired like it's stressed it's not recovering as well also my my sleeping schedule has been off especially that one day after you know being awake for so so long with working a night shift coming home decorating for my daughter's birthday only sleeping for like an hour and then staying up the whole day it's just working night shifts is really really difficult it just throws you off for several days okay Let's go inside and let's get focused. So we just left the gym. It is currently, it is 4.04. Um, I was able to get a good workout in and then I did some studying on the treadmill and that really helped. So I'm here at the library. I only have an hour at the library, but I'm mainly here to see if it's possible for me to download some cards from ATI and print them. I know ATI is very, they're very strict on their copyright rules. And so I don't even know if we can download anything from ATI. And I would love to start a pharmacology binder so that throughout I can be learning them since we don't actually have our proctored exam until our third semester. And then I'm gonna head to the store, pick up some dinner items, head home, make dinner and then get back to studying. I really like to show you just little bits of pieces of where I'm adding in motherhood. That way you can get an idea of what it's like as a mom in nursing school while you're working and studying and going to school and raising your kids and how I incorpor incorporate all of that into my daily life. But I will say I have the best support system ever. My husband and my mother-in-law. My husband is pretty flexible. He's an actor first, but on the side he does lawn mowing. So that allows him to, first of all, be able to pay for our bills. Um, and second of all, to be flexible. So he creates his own schedule, which I'm super duper thankful for. And I want to take advantage of that. Anyways. I only have an hour, let's get into the library. <laughs>
always make you smile. Always make you smile. Always make you smile. All right, y'all have a good day. I love y'all. I'm going to. I'm going to school. I love you. Bye, Mama. Good morning. It is August. Not August. It's almost August, y'all. My goodness. It is July 30th. Today we have our farm bee practice assessment. I don't know why my voice lately has been sounding like I've been yelling a lot. Anyways, um, I nobody feels prepared. Nobody. But the good thing is that uh, it won't affect our overall grade as much. So we're just gonna go in there and we're going to do the best that we can. I mean, I really try not to stress about it because there's no use. Okay, I'm gonna do a really quick study. Okay. I said I wasn't nervous and here I am. Hyperventilating. It is what it is. Let's go in and I'll update you and see how I did. See how bad I did. No, it's okay. We'll be fine. I got a freaking 82! percent y'all 82 percent from a 43 i think 43 to an 82 i did it y'all i did it i was the first one to finish so i'm gonna go get me some breakfast because your girl is excited okay we're back at school but um I'm pretty sure everybody's still taking a test because my friend would have texted me by now. So I went and I got myself my favorite picadillo burrito. My favorite picadillo burrito. And while I'm eating that, I'm going to answer some of y'all's comments. I just want to say y'all are so amazing. This community has been so supportive and I absolutely love, love the advice, the stories that you share. It's been truly helpful really really helpful you have no idea how much your comments have calmed me down during the semester and i mean obviously it's worked because i'm not going out of my mind and i'm passing so i just want to thank you thank you thank you so much for being here for supporting me for being a part of this community and more importantly sharing your stories and your advice um I don't take it lightly and I don't take it for granted because I know how precious our time is and for you to take time out of your busy day to leave advice and leave comments just it warms my heart so thank you thank you thank you Alright y'all, that concludes this week's vlog. Thank you so much for being here. It means a lot. Like I said, your support, your advice, just everything and uh, just being a part of this community. I appreciate you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll probably do one more where it's just a couple of days in my life um, and then I'll do my final week or... I don't know because my final week all I do is I take an exam and that's it so anyways we'll see I can't believe it's already nearing the end of the semester we only have one more lecture day and then when we go back for our last week it's just the final and we're done we're done it's just it's insane anyways I love y'all so much I can't express fully with words how much it means to me that y'all are here. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.